Alice was riding her bike when she saw a field full of beautiful flowers. Mother's birthday is tomorrow, she said to herself. Maybe I should pick a flower for her. Alice scanned the field to find the most beautiful flower to give to her mother. After a few minutes of searching, Alice found the flower she wanted. It was purple and pink and yellow and had the longest petals she had ever seen. However, when she went to pull it out of the ground, it would not budge. Alice pulled harder and harder, but the flower stayed where it was. No other flower in the field was as beautiful as the flower she found. She had to have it for her mother. Alice sat down on the ground and began to think of other ways to get the flower out of the ground. While she was thinking, she heard someone whisper something in her ear. Psst! Try digging up the roots, the voice said. What did you say? Alice asked, confused. The roots, the voice said again. Try digging up the roots. What are the roots? Alice asked. Why, they're the most important part of the plant, the voice exclaimed. They help the plant stay in the ground. They also help the plant absorb water and minerals. I didn't know plants had roots, Alice said. Plants have many parts, the voice replied. In fact, the flower itself is just one of the many parts of the whole plant. Each part plays a role in helping the plant stay alive. What are some of the other parts of the plant called? Alice asked. Well, you already know two parts, the roots and the flower, the voice said. The other main parts of the plant are the stems and the leaves. So plants have four main parts, roots, flowers, stems, and leaves, Alice said. That's right, said the voice. Alice looked at the plant. It had the flower on top and the roots at the bottom. She knew the teardrop shapes coming off of the plant were leaves. That meant the stick-like part in the middle must be the stem. Alice pointed at the stem. What does this do? she asked. Have you ever used a straw? the voice asked. Yes, I use straws to drink from my juice boxes, answered Alice. But what does that have to do with the stem? The stem acts a little bit like a straw, the voice replied. It helps water and nutrients get to other parts of the plant. So the roots suck up water and minerals from the ground and the stem carries it to the leaves and other parts of the plant, Alice said. Exactly, the voice replied. The stem also takes food from the leaves and carries it to other parts of the plant. Wait a second, said Alice. What do you mean by food from the leaves? The leaves job is to make food for the plant. They capture sunlight and use a process called photosynthesis. This creates a special type of sugar to feed the plant. That's neat, Alice said. So the food from the leaves is used to help the plant grow, and the flower's job is just to look pretty. Well, Flowers do look pretty, the voice said. But looking pretty is not a flower's only job. In fact, 
A flower is a pretty important part of the plant. How can something as pretty as a flower be important? Alice asked. A plant's main goal is to make seeds so another plant can grow, explained the voice. The prettiest parts of the flower help attract insects and bees. They pollinate the flower and help seeds develop. I never realized a flower was so important, Alice said. I just wanted to take something pretty to my mother for her birthday. You still can, said the voice. But instead of just pulling off the flower, why don't you pull up everything from root to flower? Plant me in a pot, and then I can continue to grow. That's a great idea, said Alice. Instead of just one pretty flower, my mother will have a plant that keeps growing and makes more beautiful flowers. Alice dug up the plant, roots and all, and planted it in a pot for her mother as soon as she got home.